Hello, my name is Ignacio. I come from Spain and I am a research researcher number 16 from the Smart Answer project. I'm currently working at CTS, which is a testing lab in Lyon, France. In recent years, there have been many studies on serrations as a means of reducing noise. The sotus shape is biomimetic, which means that it is inspired by nature. Also, are feathered with a sotus shape on the leading and the trailing edge of the wing, which contribute to the silent flight. Most of the research has been done on airfoil. If you want to know more, I advise you to check the videos of my fellow researchers, Christopher Teruna, Giorgos Bampanis, and Lorenzo Lima Pereira on the same channel. However, there is a lot of work to be done when it comes to industrial application. We need to transfer the serrations from a fixed airfoil to a rotating blade. Some studies have been carried out on wind turbines, axial fans, and drone. But there is a lack of experience when it comes to centrifugal fans. So, what is a centrifugal fan? It's a fan where the inner tofer is axial, so parallel to the rotation axis, and the outlet is radial. It's quite common in air conditioning systems, like this example. We have designed six prototypes where we modify the geometry of the baseline fan. Three with leading edge serrations, and three with threading edge serrations. The objective was to check the impact of the serration geometry on the noise, but also on the fan performance. So, how do you judge the fan performance? A fan is a machine which provides a certain pressure for different values of the flow rate. If we plot them, we can draw the fan curve, which looks like this. This point on the curve is called an operating point. There is also a different curve, which shows the noise for each operating point. Both the pressure on the noise are measured in a double reverberant room. So, what's a reverberant room? Welcome to a double reverberant room! Inside each room, most of the noise is reflected, so the noise field is uniform. If you want, this is the opposite of an anechoic room, where all the noise is absorbed. We install the fan between both rooms and we measure the pressure on the noise in each room. Now let's look at some results. This is the fan curves for the baseline fan in black and the serrating pillars in color. Leading edge serrations generate a pressure drop apart from the point of minimum pressure where there is a certain pressure recovery. We can also plot the specific noise. Specific noise takes into account the pressure changes. It rewards pressure increases and penalizes pressure drops. If we do this, we see that leading edge serrations actually increase noise at most of the operating points. Why? To explain this, we have to show the noise spectrum, which shows how noise changes with the frequency. It's a bit noisy, so it's better to show the noise difference with respect to the baseline. Bear in mind that negative values of this curve on the right mean that noise has been reduced. In our case, serrations reduce noise at low frequencies but they increase it over 1000 Hz. Okay, let's move to trailing edge serrations. Look at the fan curve, there's a pressure drop for all operating points. If you look at the specific noise, which accounts for these pressure losses, trailing edge serrations achieve a slight noise reduction. If we take a look at the noise spectra, this noise reduction is broadband. This is for all frequencies. These results are interesting, but there's still a lot of work to be done. The design process for serrations is to be improved so they become more effective, especially for the leading edge. We have already evaluated our method to dimension them based on an estimation of the turbulence through simulations and have proposed changes to it. We have also shown that the leading edge and the turning edge noise may not be the dominant sources, so adding serrations to this part of the blade may not be the best strategy. Of course, more research is required to confirm this. 